Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukoden 3. In the last episode, we finished off Thomas Chapter 1. Now we're going to head to Thomas Chapter 2, where we can actually recruit a few more people. But yeah, we're going to start off the day. For the first time, we're doing a Chapter 2. This really isn't in chronological order, but I'm going to do Thomas just to get out of the way. Good luck. See you later. So, first thing I want to do... Well, we'll see how this goes, but... That's true. Just keep a journal, I guess. So, let's get the hell out of here. There's a couple things we gotta do. Apparently, Sebastian's going out. Do something else. Does that mean I can't uh, get different party members or whatever? How's that working? Oh, look, here you are. Let's put some people in my crew. Cecile. Let's put in Mel, I guess. Wutari, Ayame, and, oh, Shizu, she doesn't have any skills. What the hell would I put her in? Ike, discount trade in, discount trade in, Bath, treasure hunt. I'm going to put Mio in. I like Mio. Anyways, now we're going to head on out. A couple things we got to do couple of people I missed in chapter one. So, uh, we can actually head over to, oh man, Duck Village is so far away. You know what, let's head here first, because I want to see if I can buy the Rose Brooch. I could really use him, or it. And apparently the Zexan Council is on something. Who the hell are they looking for? You know what? I'm gonna tell them I don't know of such a castle. He'll eventually find his own way. Plus, I don't want to. I don't want to bring him all the way to the, the damn council, anyways. He's an asshole. These Zexan guys—they're looking for somebody. Let's see, Rose Brooch or no? Please, no rarities. You gotta be kidding me, man. I nah, will have to come back. Alright, let's head over to Duck Village. Because then what I gotta do is head over to... Actually, let's head over... Where should I go first? I guess... I guess I'm gonna head over to here first. And I'll be right back. Alright, now let's head back to the capital of the... Of Zexan here. I want to go to the trade area and purchase some grapes. Because now we can actually recruit that guy, Bartz. Um, if you remember, he was in uh, Ixi Village. But before we go back to Ixi Village, I'm actually going to go to Duck Village where we can go and recruit another character. I didn't think that we could get him right now, but apparently we can. Hell, we could have got him in the first chapter, but whatever. We'll get him in this chapter, and then I think we'll actually get another character who is accused of something, and she'll join our group. So let's head over to the trade area. You know what's kind of sad is that 
we've already uh, explored over half the world here. I feel kind of sad that that's the case. So here's a trade center. Let's pick up some grapes. Not grape seeds, but grapes. Excuse me. So let's pick up grape seed. I just want to buy one. And now we're going to go give this to Bart. But before we do that, I'm going to head over to the Duck Village. So I'll be right back. Okay, finally. We're back to the Duck Village. God, it took forever. Seriously, it's the longest trek. I really, I can't wait till I get the blinking lady. I really can. I can start warping in almost instantaneous. Anyways, let's head into the, uh, let's head over here. And head back here. Oh. And this is Sanye Y. I don't even know what the hell the answer here. You can see how grateful you are, won't you take them? Just take the goddamn thing. Yep, this is the daughter of Freed and uh, Yoshino. In case you didn't know. Yeah, will you join my group? Look at that, we get Sonya Yanama Sonya Yanamo Yatamoto. There should be something going on in the back here. Probably in the other room. There's a lot of people quacking over here. Yeah, here we go. What is it? And this guy, his name's Kid. He's he's a detective, and I'm putting that in air quotes. He's kind of like a junior Richmond. Sure, I'll help you out. All right. Oh, look, he's got a mask on. Oh, man, back... F oh. This stinks. I hate when it, we got, like, these flashbacks. Now I can't friggin'... I hate when this happens, because I don't know how to fix it. Sound like wood breaking. Someone murdered him. And look, we can kind of see uh, what's her name in there. Yeah, I apologize for this. This is emulating. What do you want? Then it's not perfect. 
emulation is not perfect. But it is better than me having to play it on the, uh... On the, on the PlayStation 2 or the PS3. Can you imagine if I had to play an RPG on the PS3 while trying to capture all that footage? Then I have to record over it, you know, commentate over it. It'd be a nightmare. So, I, I like I said, I do apologize for this, but... What the hell is wrong with this duck? Oh my god! Don't touch anything. This is officially a murder case. A murder? Wherever I go, I run into cases like this. I guess this is what being a famous detective is all about. Alright, can I get a chance to go or what? I feel like I'm, uh... Oh, look, Howard. Howard the Duck. Let's go talk to Howard the Duck. I'm not searching the room. I'm just gonna go talk to Howard. Like there's signs of a struggle. Well, there's not my strong point. I like how he says that. Alright, so now we can make some inquiries. We gotta talk to the, uh, duck over here. Are you Howard? I'm not saying you're a liar. Alright, now we have to talk to the duck near the windmill in the village. Let's go talk to the duck. Near the windmill in the village. I think the windmill's on the other side. What else is the windmill? Talk to the duck near a windmill in the village. Is it you? Are you talking about a water wheel? Yeah. Yeah, it seems kind of creepy. Finally get the note from the duck in the trading shop and give it to Kid. Alright, so let's go in the trading shop. And see what's going on. No, I don't want to study, I want to trade. So this duck has stranger herb. Not a trading shop. Can I not read? Is that my problem? Those are not trading. The trading shop's back here. Oh, he's the duck chief. He should look a little different. This 
tail doesn't look any different. Huh. Taking notes, you say? Alright, so we got a letter fragment. Let's go give it to Kid. Maybe he can decipher it or something. I don't even care what it says. Let's just get this over with. It's a murder! Objection! Maybe he was trying to get a nap. What kind of hat is a is, uh, kid wearing? That's a cool hat. I like it. got going on here kid do you got it or what I think I know already I, I personally think he's asleep I think the herbs are there to make him go to sleep maybe the herbs are rosemary thyme and sage and whatever kind of delicious treats the herbs that would go good with a duck I don't know I've never eaten duck I can't eat duck in our house my aunt and my mom love ducks and if they found out that like we'd eaten duck they'd probably go ape shit hell my mom back in the old NES days did Mr. Jonathan commit suicide? Yeah, did he commit suicide? Anywho's, uh, yeah, back in the old NES days, my mom wouldn't even, uh, she didn't like duck hunt. She's like, why do you gotta kill the ducks? I was like, I'm sorry, Ma, it's, that's just the game. That's just how the game is. Yeah, she didn't like duck hunt too much. She was one of the first people I knew who wanted you to shoot that dog. So look, Mr. Jonathan, uh, he sleeps like in a weird position. Yoga? You mean you were doing yoga? Beg your pardon? Of course, I'm still a beginner, so I might have looked awkward. You look awful funny. Yeah, who declared it a murder case? If you remember correctly, it was Kid who declared it a murder. He said, oh, it's a murder. When he should have known it was yoga. If the murder we're dealing with, look, the guy jumped to conclusions. He jumped to conclusions, just like that board, the jump to conclusion board. That that guy is gonna make. I have people skills. 
I deal with the customers so the engineers don't have to. And <laughs> being hit by a truck was <laughs> the best thing that could have happened to <laughs> Ah, help us. Guys, crazy. That's not yoga. That's that's crazy. So yeah, he's kind of like Richmond Jr. Yeah, come to Buddha Castle. You can investigate the characters and tell us what yeah don't start another case yeah he actually investigates the characters and there we go we got kid in our group so now what I'm gonna do is meet you back at uh, the windmill area in Ixay village so this is uh, yeah I'll be back alright we're back at Ixay village let's see all right, we recruited three characters. No, two. Maybe we can get a third here if there's a goddamn rarity. Please be here, come on. You serious? I don't think I'm gonna be able to recruit him for Thomas' this chapter. Fuck yeah, I don't care. Actually, I'm gonna try one more thing, but I'm not doing it now. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, save the game and then leave, save the game, and then go in and see. Anyways, there's this guy Bart's over here with his hoe. He'll join. I know that's not a nice thing to say to a lady, but whatever. I have grape seeds. Join my group. Anyways, I got this from somebody. He said I could, he can join my group here, but I guess he don't want to. Anyways, uh, yeah, I guess we'll continue with uh, exploring. Uh, we're going to head back to Buddha Castle in the next episode. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to leave the village, save the game, and then um, try and get this rose brooch. I'm only going to try maybe twice. And if I don't get it, screw it. I'll have to get Augustine and some with some other character. Because this isn't happening. But he is very good, and he actually would be useful in this chapter if I was able to get him. But I guess we'll have to wait. So yeah, this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.